Larry Green. He has to go. His teammates look to him as a leader on the field. But it's what Jamal Covington does off the field that makes him a leader for college athletes everywhere. I feel like all of that stuff, uh, when I'm out doing different things, I'm a reflection of this organization. And I love being a part of this organization. So I want to represent it the best way possible. So that's something that drives me to do all the things that I do. Go, go. Covington's list of accomplishments off the field is impressive to say the least. Heading into this season, he earned a spot on the watch list for the All-State Good Works team and the Werfel Trophy for community service. Throughout his collegiate career, he has served as the president and vice president of Charlotte's Student Athletic Advisory Committee, he was the Conference USA rep at the NCAA Leadership Forum and was a member of the Chancellor's Advisory Council for Intercollegiate Athletics. Given all the positions Covington holds off the field, it's no surprise the NFL picked him in its 16 for 16 series as one of the 16 college football players most likely to run for president. Uh, it's definitely, it has a lot of time demands, but it's, it's something that, uh, something that's really just been put in me. Uh, this, it's just been something that's dr uh, driven me. Uh, just, I remember one thing I talked about with Coach Ratliff all the time when I passed. One thing I learned from him was uh, just really trying to push yourself and just remember who you're representing. And when I'm out there, when I'm doing SAC, when I'm doing all these different things uh, for our student athletes and in the community, like one of the things that just keeps me going is just remembering who I represent. I represent Charlotte 49ers as well as our conference, as well as him, uh, Coach Ratliff. It just, it just really uh, pushes me, gives me that extra push to really go out and uh, do different things. So. And if opening up holes for Charlotte's running backs and giving Charlotte's QBs enough time to throw wasn't hard enough, Covington also maintains a GPA over 3.0 in classes most college students wouldn't attempt even without the strain of football. So what class are we heading to? Web GIS. Web GIS, Web what GIS. is that? It's, it's basically, it's talking about like how we can use uh, geographic information systems to really connect like the different aspects of like modern day technology using the internet and different things like that so Covington has been a leader for the 49ers since day one as a member of the team's inaugural squad that redshirted in 2012 his impact on the program both on and off the field is immeasurable yeah he's everything you want a student athlete I mean he takes care of his business on the field off the field uh, he's real aggressive with you know doing things and and kind of the thing you talk to your team about all the time is you know a cause beyond yourself and he's the epitome of that he's always trying to help somebody else and and that's one of the cool things about football it's never about one guy and and he's really taken that to the next level and done a lot of good things with SAC and and outside of our program and on campus so it's been a lot of fun to be associated with him the last four or five years despite his success Covington never forgets that he did not earn these accolades alone it one of the things I really what, the reason why I really felt like I received that honor was uh, simply because one of the, one of my biggest things is uh, when I go in and the things I do every day, I want to be a reflection of the people that really made an impact in my life. And for me, it's a lot of different coaches and a lot of different mentors, my parents and everybody growing up. I just really want to be a positive reflection of them in everything that I do. Because I know that the things that I do is not only a reflection of me, but a reflection of them. So. That humility and leadership from the anchor of its offensive line will be key for Charlotte this season as it prepares for its second full season of Conference USA football. For Charlotte49ers.tv, I'm Joe Prozac.